Congratulations on buying the Coco bundle. I hope you like it and that you're enjoying it so far. In this video, I would like to show you how you can customize the Coco bundle and help you with that. The video is going to be separated into a few sections. First, we are going to see how uh, you can customize the layout using the sections and marginal settings. Then I'm going to show you how to use Coco Master CSS file and what it is at all and how to use developer tools options. In the end, we are going to cover some potential issues you might encounter while developing your website. So without any further ado, let's get started. What I have here is an example page. I have loaded Coco homepage too. Uh, and to get started with, let's enable Visual Builder. The Visual Builder is an amazing DV team feature that allows you to customize the page without ever actually leaving the page. So all the updates you make to the page, you can automatically see. Uh, let me immediately show you that on an example. Let's, for example, customize this section here. Uh, if I hover over the text, you can see that mouse cursor has changed, so I can just select the text and type uh, some new text here. Uh, and if you hover over a section, a row or a module, you can see these uh, options that pops up. Uh, you have a few options here, you can move the module, you can go to module settings, clone the module, uh, save the module to the library or delete it. I want to focus in this video on the settings, so let's click the module settings and let me explain you what you can see here. We have three tabs, Content, Design and Advanced tab here. In the Content tab, as the name says, uh, you can update the content obviously, so another way to update this text will be here. We can uh, type in something like, I don't know, uh, another new text that's dumb but it works. Uh, also, you can link this uh, text or the entire module here, you can add a background. Basically, you can use this editor to add any content you would like. Design tab is the tab that you are going to use the most. Here you have uh, many design options and these options may differ depending on the module you're editing. This is the text module, so all the options you see here are of course predicted for the text itself. So you have some general text options here. Uh, you can set the text font, color and more. There are also particular settings for the heading text. For example, you can choose the color. All right, we don't have any headings. Uh, so let's get back to text. Uh, let's change the color. So you can see it's immediately changing on the page. You don't have to, uh, I don't know, save the settings, then open the page additionally you immediately know how it looks like and if you're satisfied uh, just save this. Uh, you can change the font size, letter spacing and many many other options. Uh, also you can adjust sizing and spacing of the module. In the sizing you can adjust the width. In the spacing you can set uh, margins and padding, assign a border, you can add a box shadow, add some filters, even assign an animation. Uh, of course, there are many options that I won't be covering here, otherwise this video will be really really long and boring to watch. So make sure to check all these options and to play around with it. And of course to check other modules as well. I'm just giving you an example on this very text module here. Then there's advanced tab. And here we can assign the module a unique ID or a class. Also, you can add your own custom CSS here. An interesting uh, option here is visibility section and you can disable uh, this module, for example, on desktop only, on tablet or a mobile phone. Check all these options to get familiar with it to see what all they do. Uh, that's it couple of quick other notes or suggestions I can give is uh, you can easily reduce or increase rows and sections spacings I mean margins and padding and also you can easily uh, replace the places of two modules you can move around the modules just by click and dragging it around but also you can right click on the module 
and copy module styles or even copy the entire module and you can just right click once again and paste the module so that should help you uh, more quickly customize the entire page or you can even uh, copy uh, module styles across the pages that's it for the sections and module settings now let's see how we can use CSS I have loaded a module uh, as an example module or a section it's a fresh cocoa header and here it is how it looks like and what I want to show you is how to change or to customize this module using the CSS uh, let's for example change these arrows uh, color uh, to do that we want to go to settings Coco assistant under the get started tab scroll down and you'll see this button to open master CSS file it is going to open the uh, CSS in a new window and what you want to do is to select and copy everything then paste it in your text editor you can use any text editing program uh, I use notepad plus plus it's a free and really great professional text editing software um, what you can notice when you open this uh, CSS is that it is really well commented so you have comments for with the names of all modules here and to find the module we would like customize we can just uh, open the find box and search for the fresh header module and it is going to find this comment that says fresh header so all this CSS under uh, this fresh header comment is the CSS that belongs to this module and for example to change the arrows uh, you can see that we have some CSS here uh, this is the next arrow background color and let's change that for example this is going to change this grayish dark gray color next uh, arrow let's change that to for example red and all we have to do is to copy this block of CSS we also don't need this so let's just copy this then uh, let's go back to our page and we can click edit page I'm using backend editor now you can do this in visual builder too go to page settings and we want to add our CSS here now let's click save and update the page and let's preview so what this was supposed to do is it should change this arrow background color let's have a check and there we go that's it that's basically how this works so very important uh, do not edit plugin core files all you need to do is to find the CSS you're looking for here inside the master CSS file uh, make your changes then copy that CSS and paste it on your website now let's move to using browser developer tools to open developer tools press F12 on your keyboard and this is going to bring uh, a panel like this one I'm using Mozilla Firefox but it's really similar in Chrome and any other major browsers and uh, don't let all these options and codes confuse you because only thing we are going to use in this video is this first option here with this little arrow icon this is called inspect element tools make sure to click that to enable it and you can see now that similarly to visual builder uh, when I hover our elements on the page now I can select it and immediately I'm given some CSS information here on my right you can see that changes as I click on different elements and here's how this helps us for example if I click this arrow that we just changed I can see all the CSS for this arrow here but what's uh, the best thing here is that it exactly uh, says where some CSS is located so I can see that here we have some arrow hover color and it says that it is located in cocoheaders.css on the line 377 so I can find the original CSS there 
uh, once again just like as with using the master CSS file we don't want to edit the core plugin files so we don't want to change the coco headers.css file the reason for that is because all our changes will be lost with each plugin update so all we want to do is to select this CSS copy it make your changes and actually first paste this CSS in the page settings make your changes there and then save the settings and that's it just as uh, with the master CSS file however let me show you another example if we click this fresh ideas text here uh, you can see that it has some text left alignment and also here are some font uh, properties here font family color and uh, some other things but it says inline uh, it doesn't tell us the CSS file name and the reason for this is because this CSS is not located in any external CSS file instead it is in the module settings so when you see inline that means that you can customize that element using the module settings and to prove that let me enable visual builder once again so if I'm correct uh, we should be able to change this fresh ideas uh, text using the module settings uh, so if I go to module settings I can uh, probably what I'm looking for is the title text and if I changed the color there it is so uh, point is I don't need to write any C or customize any CSS I can do that from the module settings that's how uh, developer tools help us and you can do this with any layout any module any plugin or any website you can easily find where something is located and where to customize it if it happens to you that you're making some customizations but you don't see anything updated on the page it may be due to caching enabled on your website Divi has integrated caching and to disable that you can go to team options uh, and scroll down and you want to disable these two options minify and combine javascript files and minify and combine css files also go to builder advanced and disable static css file generation then save your changes also if you use any caching plugins please deactivate them temporarily and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching